Hey, it's Cal here. Um, I wanted to do a video of, I guess, kind of my experience and do like a burning of my old, my old karma. With this full moon in Scorpio that we just had on the 10th, it was, to me, it was, I mean, it was about death and rebirth. And to me, it was really about going really deep and, and just like, I don't even know about going deep. It's hard to explain. I ended up in freaking a, a mental hospital, I guess, because my mom called the judge or whatever because my mom thinks I'm crazy because I, I have so many, I have so much energy just like, just like spinning up here and I'm trying to integrate and ground it and I'm just getting so many downloads and I have such an open crown right now and it just, it feels awesome. And it's like I go through days of like clearing and then days of like upgrades and downloads. So it's like, it's like my mood's like all over and I know I'm not the only one that's going through the shift. And, and so you know, a lot of people are going through this and so I just kind of want to share this with you in, in, in just kind of journal my, my experience and, you know, going to a mental hospital with a really strong psychic opening, a real really wide psychic opening a really wide chakra opening in a state of complete surrender it was like you know i think people that are schizophrenic or having psychotic episodes and maybe maybe this isn't true but i i think those people are really really just have a lot of energy up here and have a really strong really wide crown in 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 psychic opening and uh don't really understand that experience and didn't prepare themselves and don't really have people around them that understand them and are able to support them and really believe what they're going through it's hard to describe it's like it's like we don't have language for multi-dimensional thinking so when people start trying to describe their crown chakra experience especially if they don't have reference points to their experience or what they're experiencing then it just comes out schizophrenic. It comes out disorganized, and it's and it's and it's like you have no memory because like your brain's releasing a lot of DMT. That's really like what it is. So <laughs> they diagnosed me with major depression, and I take this as clearing my karma and clearing collective energy and karma and chi health. I mean, it's like so synchronistic. It's so cool. Major depression. I defeated major depression with general happiness. Right, it was a long battle, and uh, Sergeant Anxiety got in the way here and there, but General Happiness defeated Major Depression. <laughs> right, I like to be creative. So they tried giving me lithium, which is like a freaking horrible drug. Bad side effects. Sometimes when people take it, they don't know how it's gonna re how people are gonna react to it, and it and it's. I don't know how rare it is, but people can die from the toxicity of it because it affects everyone different. And so, like, just like services, like, I just do not like the Western, they treat symptoms, right? They, they don't, they don't heal you. So, yeah, I, I was like, I didn't, I was afraid of being put on pills because I don't want it to block the divine that I'm feeling. I don't think it would, but I don't think it's very healthy for me to drugs and Seroquel is a terrible drug. Seroquel is horrible. And uh, so I was just saying like, I'm, I have allergies to all these medications. I can't take them. So then they ended up trying to give me lithium. Um, let's see. I don't know if this is like personal information. No. So this was like, okay, yeah. okay, so it gave me a diagnosis, right? Okay, here's the diagnosis. And to be honest, I think I was empathing so many people in there. It was a tough experience. But you know, I've gone through so many tough experiences, even though it was, it, it was, I don't want to say that it was dark or that it was heavy or it was, it seemed really light and that's really a lot of the energy right now. So it's like, oh, okay. He's has psychosis. Like, like, they, like, 
Like, like this guy sees angels. He, he sees things that other people, like other people see angels. Shut up. <laughs> Episodic mood disorder, whatever the fuck that is. Right? So, yeah. It's so funny with a lot of these things that, like, like it's a spiritual thing when people have those experiences. It's a crown opening and people are trying to integrate and ground that experience. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Okay. So that is like medications, patient refuse, right? Like fucking awesome. I was, I was impatient with myself and I got upset and, you know, wanted to share a lot of these brilliant, blissful and, uh, spiritual ideas with my family because I didn't really have other people around me to share them with. And my mom thought I was crazy, I guess, from my past and was really projected on and misunderstood, especially when I was in high school. So I, I take it as a thing to clear karma. And so I'm going to burn this sheet. And I want to record this in here. And also, I was thinking about doing a ceremony with, because this was a part of my past. And so I was going to do a ceremony. I guess I won't. I guess I won't. It, oh, I guess I won't. I don't want to. But, yeah. I'll go do that. I'll go burn this. And just release this. Right? Whoa. Sorry. More chi health, right? More chi health. So, I'm just gonna burn this up. Ah. I wish I should have gotten my chi fluid. And my mom was wanting to read this. And it's like they scheduled me an appointment. Like I really just want to run away from this whole experience. That's what I wanted to do when before. I didn't want to go to the mental hospital, but you know, I couldn't get out of it. They were like trying to court order me, saying that I was an endanger to myself and others. It's fucked up. You know, I don't like it when people impose their thumb of will over anyone because they think that they know better. When, they, Especially when they don't. When they don't understand something and then box and label that box so they know what's in that box and compartmentalize people into boxes. It's just so stupid. <laughs> it's annoying more than anything. I'm not even... I feel like I've lost a lot of fear with it even though there's that little bit of fear. I guess I'm going to burn this by myself now and put the phone down and thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope no matter where you're at, somebody loves you. I do. I promise. And, you know, you're doing the best you can right now. Otherwise, you'd be doing better. I just want you to know that.